is that um, uh, not counting for the standardization towards 100, assuming that the uh, assuming that the standardization remained the same overall time. Um, what we're looking at is we're looking at an actual mean of, you know, say 99 point something initially, but that the actual mean um, overall, uh, again, assuming that the 100 has been standard, uh, is the same over time and has not been re-standardized for the overall population drop or for the overall um, IQ drop, the overall IQ, as the population grows, is the overall mean is actually dropping. And what, so what scares me about this is the fact that um, if this is happening worldwide, and assuming that uh, the countries where this only accurate is accurate would be um, countries such as Western Europe, North America, uh, again where uh, where WASPs, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, are being measured on IQ, then that would be the scariest because of the fact that if our IQ is dropping overall, then what is that saying about causes for why our IQ, dro IQ drops? And Probably, I would have to agree with you that, uh, that not only, uh, that probably it's not just in the U.S., but probably in various countries, at least in Western uh, Europe and in North America, we are dealing with a problem of uh, mathematical decline. Um, often, uh, one of the other things which is often highly annoying is um, I saw another video broadcast, uh, which I posted a video response to in my global warming video a while back, which um, dealt with... Um, Somebody was trying to use multiplication, basic high school math, to say that we are not contributing to global warming whatsoever because of the fact that we only put up a small percentage of the, uh, again, they tried to put it through a calculator, saying that we only put up a small, minute percentage of the uh, CO2 up in the atmosphere, and therefore we are not contributing much to the global warming effect. But the problem is, though, is that even, even if that uh, basic mathematics, like the, high, like the basic high school math is being used, they're not taking into account the actual uh, university level um, uh, equations which have to go into this, like the universal gas laws, or uh, the, the or the organic chemistry, uh, or or you know like the, the molecular spectroscopy equations, which would be the wave number, and then multiply in the wave number by the uh, you know by the absorption factor uh, again on the on the individual um, on the video uh, on the individual. Um, oh, frig, now I'm uh, sorry, now I'm losing track, but. The, you know, uh, but depending on the individual vibration at a particular given uh, angle or, or at a particular given level, again, you know, which, which would absorb infrared radiation at a particular frequency, which, um, uh, which when multiplied by Planck's constant gives an individual energy. Then, of course, if you multiply that by the number of, uh, then if you multiply that for the individual, uh, for the individual mo uh, molecule, you multiply by the uh, Avogadro's constant to give you for the average mole, multiply by the number of moles of CO2 up there, and you get an idea of the energy. And then, of course, uh, you know, don't forget that there of course, are you know two 